Shane, heck of an opening night. You got the first goal 22 seconds into the first period. How did that feel? Yeah, I mean, it was special. I think I blacked out during that celebration there. I know I said to one of the players, I think it was Ralph, that I was going to jump into the stand or jump into the C block section there if I scored. So I think I avoided him in the celebration and went into the glass, but it was awesome. I mean, my line mates are awesome. They're supporting me there with me the whole way. So I can't, I have to thank them in that goal as well. Break the goal down for me. How did it happen? To be honest, I'm not really sure. I know I just got the puck and I had a lot of speed and I forget who even passed me. I think it was Sheeran out of the zone and I just went down and I knew we were just keeping it simple and getting pucks on net. So I just decided to throw at the net and it happened to squeak through his legs. The first goal, 22 seconds in, and you guys went up 2 nothing in the first period, but then ended up tying the game in the long run. What can you take away from this and learn about the importance of you know finishing strong? Yeah, I mean, obviously when you're up a goal, when you're up two goals, you, you want to win and you're probably expected to win. But we knew they were a good team and we knew they'd battle back and it was I felt like it was a game of momentum out there and I mean we obviously went up too quick and things kind of settled in after the 10 minute mark and then they battled back and got two goals so I think it was back and forth but we were happy with how we played obviously we won those two points for the fans and and the team but hopefully we get them tomorrow night. You know talk about the excitement in the locker room moving into tomorrow night knowing that you still have a chance to get three out of four points. Yeah I mean we're fired up obviously we wanted the two tonight like I said but I mean, we're ex we expect to win every night we play, and j it's another game, right? So hopefully we can come out tomorrow night and win it for the fans. Great. Good job, Noah. Thanks, Shane. Thank you. Coach, very exciting opening night here at Harbor Center. You guys went up 2 nothing in the first few minutes. Talk about the excitement and the intensity that that set for today's game. Wow. I mean, what a great game. What a great environment and atmosphere. Um, you know, the passion and emotion that our guys had only was lifted by that of the students and, and you know I'm sitting on the bench feeling it the, the excitement and the energy and um, to me you know, we said it as coaches you look around and you say hey this is Canisius this is what Canisius students do we go to hockey games we cheer our butts off and, and we help the team and, and our guys fed off that energy and it, it was important. After such a strong start what happened there in the second and third period resulting in the tie to lead overtime? Well, nothing really happened. I mean, uh, in a game of momentum, uh, we had it early, as you would expect in an in a opening, grand opening of a wonderful building. Um, and then slowly, I would say, I thought we won the first 10, they won the next 10, they won the next 10, we won the next 10. And, and I thought it went back and forth like that uh, all throughout the game. So two intense teams playing fast, high-paced hockey. And it was, uh, it's too bad it had to end, to end in a tie. Um, but from a neutral person's perspective, uh, it's probably fitting. Now, tomorrow, the hungriest dog's going to win. Right? We got those are two more points available tomorrow. Nothing decided tonight except uh, except a lot of little physical battles that we got to rest and recover from. Great, thanks, coach. Thanks, Ben.